Welcome back to the Simple Cyber Defense. As we know, earlier this year, Windows 7 has reached its end of life. So that means all Windows 7 users are faced with one of three options. Option number one, which is the most dangerous, which would be to continue using Windows 7 despite all the security risks that we'll be facing. Or option number two, which would be to switch from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Now, because many users have continue to use Windows 7 well past the, the start of Windows 10 will shows that many Windows users do not really want Windows 10 because of many of the uh, privacy issues and some of the update flaws that have come come up for that. So option number three which would be to change the operating system completely. Now there are many options out there one being the Macintosh operating system, but unfortunately that can be very expensive to get into because Macs are not very cheap devices. So the next option would be to use your existing computer and just install Linux over top of the Windows 7. So that's what we're going to be discussing here. We're going to be discussing how to trans or transfer from Windows 7 and over to a Linux operating system called Ubuntu. So here at my desktop, I'll show you the steps that will take to go from Windows 7 over to the Ubuntu Linux system. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a little USB stick, kind of like this. This could be anywhere from 8 gigabytes and up. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to download a piece of software called Etcher. And the last thing you're going to need is an ISO file, which is the operating system itself. So what you're going to do is you're going to use Etcher to transfer the ISO file onto the USB stick, plug this into your computer, and then install Linux over top, replacing the Windows 7. So the first thing to do is to go to this website, which is linked in the description below, which is called the Etcher program, which will take the system image, put it on a drive, and flash it. The next thing you do is go over to the Ubuntu website, And we're going to go down to download. And you're going to click on the Ubuntu desktop. And the newest version is 20.04 for long term service, which, which is the LTS. This will give you service for many years to come so you don't have to worry about it. So when you have Etcher installed and your ISO file, the next thing you're going to do is start Etcher program and plug in, to, plug in your USB drive. Here you're going to select the image that you just downloaded onto your desktop. desktop and then Ubuntu software and then you're going to open it it should automatically recognize your USB drive if it doesn't make sure that you use the proper USB drive and not your internal system the way to find that out is to open up the computer and look for your USB drive which is right here and recognize the the drive letter this one is E if you go back to Etcher you'll see that E is the drive letter that it's used so once you hit flash it will install the operating system files onto your USB drive so that you could then reinstall it over top of Windows 7 so 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to shut down Okay, so then when you restart your computer, you're going to hit a certain key that will get into your BIOS. Depending on which computer model you have, it could be either the F12, 11, 10, Escape. In the description are the most common BIOS keys that are out there for many different operating systems. So after you get into that, you'll pick the USB drive that you just inserted into there and then you'll come up to this screen after many of the files will load up you'll come to a what's known as a live desktop this will be your live desktop where you can either test out your Linux operating system to sure, make sure that you want to use it or just go right into the installation process. Here's the first option that you're given. Either try it or install it. In this case we're going to install Ubuntu. So the first thing you want to do is determine your keyboard layout. There are many different options out there. For me, it's going to be English US and English US. And then you can type in here, this is a test, and your keyboard works. So then you're going to hit continue. Now here, you'll give in the options of how you want updates to be done. I recommend doing normal installation download everything and install third-party software so that you can get your Wi-Fi and other things to work to work with your Linux operating system so you can hit continue So here you'll have what type of installation you want to do. You can the thing you're going to do is going to erase everything and install Ubuntu. This will totally destroy everything that's on the computer, including Windows 7. So if you're not 100% sure about replacing Windows 7, do not do this until you are 100% secure, sure that you want to get rid of Windows 7. Now the next option that I would personally do is encrypt the new Ubuntu installation for security. This will make sure that your your hard, hardware cannot be taken from someone else and then someone will be able to look into the files 
if you're not really if you're not really concerned about someone stealing your computer you could buy you could not do the encryption but I recommend doing the encryption for added security so then we're gonna hit install now you're going to choose a security key if you choose to do encryption so here I'm going to put the security key that I want And then we're going to overwrite any empty disk space. Again, this will wipe out everything clean slate. So we're going to hit install now. So here it just wants you to confirm that you are going to do this, that you want to make sure, they just want to make sure that you know that there is no way to go back from this. So you're going to hit continue. So here you're going to choose the, what time zone you want to be part of. So whatever time zone you want, for me it's going to be New York, hit continue. Here you're going to put in your information, so we're going to put simple cyber defense. You can name your computer whatever you want, here I'm just going to put cyber PC. And then you're going to pick your username that you want to put in. Here I just want to put SCD. And then you're going to choose a password that you want to do. So for me, I'm just going to do something simple so that. And then you would want to make sure that you require a password at login so that you can make sure that no one else can just happen to get into your computer without your permission. We're going to hit continue. And here it's going to copy all the files and install it onto your operating system. This may take a little bit of time. And now after all the files have been copied, now it's going to do a installation of the system. This is going to take some time. Okay, after everything is installed, you'll come up to this little prompt that will tell you to restart your computer. Before restarting the computer, you're going to unplug your USB drive so that it doesn't boot back into your USB drive. So I'm going to hit restart now. So 
So here it's going to instruct you to remove your your USB drive, and then you hit enter. And here you're going to put in your secure key that you had. Just make sure that you do not forget your security password because there's no way to recover it. So I recommend writing it down into a safe spot or put it into a password manager. So now that you're here, what? I'm doing a video. Mommy's awake. I know I'm doing a video. Go tell her I'll be in like five minutes. Tell her that I'm doing a video and I'll be up in five minutes. Okay. Okay. In a minute. After everything had booted up, you'll come to a login screen, which you will put in your password. And then once you put in your password, you'll be greeted into your new operating system. Things to remember when you are using Linux is that it's not Windows operating system. So any of your Windows programs will not work with Linux. In the description below, you will have a list of common Windows programs and their Linux alternatives. So here you can see your little startup in which they'll tell you different things about the operating system, like how to s switch Windows, the application menu, the time, and little icons, system tray icons, close, minimize, and maximize windows, the dock, and all the app, app button. So here you'll be given an option where you, if you want to set up a live patch now. This is really critical in keeping everything up to date and secure. What you'll have to do in setting up a live patch First, put in your password. And then you're going to put in your email address and create a password. If you already have it in a Bluetooth account, which most likely you won't, you could also put it in or you want to register for your account which I would recommend that you do so after you get your live patch set up you can have an option to give information to Ubuntu to better the system 
you can either send them the information or not. And then you're ready to go. Some things that you want to consider are when it's time to update, the best way to find the updates are to first click on this button to show all the applications and then search for updates. This icon here will give you a little program that will run and then it will show you all the updates that you need to do. This will periodically go out and fetch all major updates that are needed so that you don't have to worry about keeping up to date with things. Another thing to look into is the Ubuntu software package system. Here you'll be able to install new software to do many things, different things. Like you can install messaging apps, Slack app, and many other different apps throughout here. So this concludes this little small tutorial on how to switch over from Windows 7 over to Linux operating system, particularly Ubuntu. So we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. If you like what was in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing with others. For more information, to suggest a topic, or to donate, head over to simplecyberdefense.com.